Hello everyone, welcome to Naomi's Bookshelf and welcome to another round of the Christie's Missing Readathon. Last year we had so much fun with all of the different prompts and reading time. It was just so much fun to honor Agatha Christie and we are so excited to do it again. This year we have the same goal. We want to celebrate Agatha Christie. So if you read an Agatha Christie book, you're good. However, we also have an extra layer to this. We kind of thought about last year, but we wanted to do it this year, which is finding Agatha Christie because she's missing. We've She's gone for 11 days while we're reading. She is missing and our job is to find her. So as we want to find her, we need to have detectives to do the job with us. So we each have a detective for a team captain. I am team Superintendent Battle. Love Superintendent Battle. I love his wit. I love his sarcasm. I love that he has these dry little funny things just to snip in and he is barely talked about. I love him so much. So I am Team Superintendent Battle. The next team that we have as an option for you to join is Miss Marple's team. Now Miss Marple, of course, she is sharp, she is gossip filled, and she knows everything that's going on. And her team captain is Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures. So you can go over to her video and check out her recommendations and what she's gonna be doing. But she is a team captain of Miss Marple. The next captain we have is Kevy. So Kevy from Say Kevy will be the team captain of Tommy and Tuppen. So on that team, you have two detectives. And I have just finished the Tommy and Tuppen series. I enjoyed them so much with their dynamic, their relationship. I think that they are a fantastic team as well. Miss Marple is too. The next and last team that we have is actually captained by our new co-host, which is Rachel Fryman. This captain, uh, will be for Poirot. So if you want Hercule Poirot as your detective, you can join Poirot's team. Now, I personally love Battle because I think he just is underrated and everyone knows about Marple and Poirot, but you can join any team you want. So here's how it works. Rachel has so kindly set up a system where you can create your own username and you have to do this to get your points to count. And every time that you read a book for a prompt, you will log in with that username and the prompt and team that you are reading for. So you can uh, say you're reading our group book, which we'll get to in a minute. That would count for 50 points because 25 points for completing a prompt, but 25 points because it's Agatha Christie. So you can read whatever books you want for whatever prompts, but the more points you get is from reading an Agatha Christie written novel or work. So let's get into the prompts and the group read and everything else. Let's start with the group read. The group read is, and then there were none. We have chosen this one. I think it's gonna be a great one since none of our detectives are in it. So it doesn't give any teams a heads up, but it also is really interesting because um, everyone seems to know this one. So I think it'll be great for everyone to reread. And if you've never read this one, a great one to start with um, because she is just so well known for this particular story. And I think this is going to be an awesome group read and I can't wait to discuss it with everyone. We do have a discord. So I will leave that link down below. Kevy set this one up. We have a discord for the Christie's Missing Readathon. You can go on there and discuss our group read. You can discuss any of the other prompts that you are fulfilling. Um, and it's just gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. And as usual, like as usual, as last year, we also made the group book fit a couple prompts. And the one it does fit is our closed circuit mystery. So we have a closed circuit or a closed circle, however you wanna say it, where there's a limited amount of suspects and they are all stuck together. They cannot leave. So um, that is going to fulfill that prompt. If you wanted to read a group read, you would have one knocked off and it would be double points because it's by Agatha Christie. So very exciting um, for that one. Any other closed circuit mysteries you can think of like Murder on the Orient Express works, um, Five Little Pigs, I would consider that because even though it is not taking place in that time, you know the limited amount of suspects. I think you can just come up with a bunch of different closed circuit mysteries that could work for that. Murder Mesopotamia, I'm trying to think of any of them at the top of my head, but definitely a few options there. The next one is to read a short story. Agatha Christie wrote so many short stories and so many short story collections that you can easily find one that will fit with your idea of what you want to read. I'll tell you what I'm reading and how it works for the Read Christie 2022 project because I'm combining them. But I have several options that I pulled off my shelves. So here we have 13 for Luck, which is a combination 
of Poirot, Marple, Harley Quinn, and Parker Pine. Um, very old edition. <laughs> I also have a Tommy and Tuppence one, which is Partners in Crime. This is a short story collection. You can totally count that. We also have Parker Pine, uh, Mr. Parker Pine Detective, which I've never read this one, so I might be picking that one up as an extra one if I have time. We have Mysterious Mr. Quinn, which I have read and thoroughly enjoyed, so this one is a good one as well. We have the Tuesday Club Murders, or whatever that one might be. I don't remember what exactly the other title is, but this is a Miss Marple collection of short stories where people sit down and suggest or talk about a murder they've heard about, and Miss Marple always solves it. You know she does. The last thing I have is the Complete Hercule Poirot short story collection. I have the Complete Miss Marple. I have lost it. I need to find it. But this one is my Complete Hercule Poirot and it is massive. So this is another option. You could pick, read one short story. You could read a whole collection. You could find out which ones there are. I think I own the, uh, the Hurdles of Hercules or whatever that one is, which is um, Hercule Poirot 13 short stories in that collection. So you can definitely find some that work for you and what you're interested in. The one I will be reading is going to be for the Read Christie 2022 as well because it's about jewels. I will be reading The Jewel Robbery from uh, at the Grand Metropolitan, which is a very long name for a very short story, but it is a Poirot one and it is going to be my short story for sure and I will try to read more if possible. The next one is to read a book that features your detective. So if you're on Tommy and Tuppence, you read one of the five Tommy and Tuppence novels, which is a great way to double up with the short stories, by the way. Um, you could also, for a Poirot, read a Poirot short story, and that would count if you want to double up, triple up. We don't care. We want to just celebrate Agatha Christie. But for battle, I have his five books here. Um, so we have his first book, which is The Secret at Ch of Chimneys. Then his next one, which is the Seven Dials Mystery. I believe the next one, and I can't remember the order exactly, is Cards on the Table, which features Poirot and Race and Ariadne Oliver. Then you also have, which I believe this is the fourth one, Murder is Easy. And then finally Towards Zero, which I believe is the final book of his. So I will be reading Towards Zero for this prompt. I'm excited to pick up this one. I just love the cover too. It makes me think something amazing is gonna happen. And I've heard this one is starting with the people who are involved and it working towards the murder. So I think that's gonna be a fantastic one and it could be considered a close uh, circuit mystery if you wanted to because of having the limited amount of suspects at least to my knowledge so you can pick up one of these five if you are on my team um i definitely recommend the ones i have read i did not love the secret of chimneys but that was because of a personal trigger of mine but i thoroughly enjoy the other ones i have read and i cannot wait to discuss super tender battle with all of you the next prompt is to read a golden age author because Agatha Christie wrote during the golden age. She kind of created that golden age itself. So there is the detection club that you can pull from, but you can also read from many others who were writing at the same time. I have a stack here that I found off my shelves and I have read some of them, some of them I haven't. And I'm excited to share my recommendations that I literally just pulled off my shelves. So first off, we have Georgia Tyre. I did not know she was a Golden Age mystery writer, but that is super exciting to find out. I also have here Father Brown, which I did enjoy, and he has a short story collection as well. So if you don't want that to count for Agatha Christie herself, uh, you can definitely read short stories from Father Brown's collection or the Father Brown collection. I keep making that mistake every time I talk about it. The uh, next one I have is the Tyler mystery, which is by Francis Durbar Durbridge. I have never read this one, but I own it and it was published in the 30s. So it counts. Uh, then you have Mary Roberts Reinhardt, which I love Mary Roberts Reinhardt. I think she's fantastic. I think more people should read her. And I highly recommend Mary Roberts Reinhardt. I haven't read this one, but I recommend her. Uh, you also could read uh, Georgette, not Georgette, Josephine Tay. Sorry about that. Uh, Josephine Tay is fantastic in my opinion. And this book is amazing. I loved this book so, so much. It's about Henry, not Henry, Richard III and how he's probably innocent. Um, love this one. Everyone should read this one. The Daughter of Time. I highly recommend this one. You could also read an Agatha Christie because she was writing during the Golden Age if you wanted to do that. Uh, absolutely works. No questions asked. I will be reading not an Agatha Christie for this particular prompt. I'll be reading a Mary Roberts Reinhardt. So this one is The State versus Eleanor Norton. I don't want to know anything more. 
I know that this is set in a courtroom drama situation and that's all I want to know. So I'm excited to pick up another Mary Roberts Reinhardt. She's just so good. The next prompt is to read a book that is inspired by or about or a retelling of Agatha Christie. So you could read a simple book like her autobiography. This one would work. It's by her, it's about her life, and it's not about her particular book itself. It's not a book that, or a novel that she's written. So you can pick this one. You could also read this one, which is Come Tell Me How You Live, which is also by her, but under her married name. So you can pick up any of those two. I have a couple other ones, which I just love. Um, so one of them, which I just recently picked up is Agatha Christie by uh, M. Isabel Sanchez Verga. This one is a picture book about Agatha Christie and I loved it. So definitely recommend picking up that one. You could also pick up this one, which is a, a coffee table book that I have. And this one is about all of her artwork. So all of the art that's on the cover of her books. So like this one here is the murder of the vicarage and explains why the artist chose that. So you could choose something like this, um, which is about her artwork and her creations but not its novel itself. That's the whole point. You could also read any uh, retellings about her time when she was missing. So there's The Mystery of Mrs. Christie, which I believe I haven't read yet, but I know I own somewhere. And that one, it would work because it's about her. It's a reimagining of her life. I will also be reading uh, a along with a, hopefully a nonfiction. My plan is to read one of these in November and one of these in December. So I'm not sure which one I'll be reading during the month, but one of these will hopefully be there. But I will definitely be reading uh, an audiobook, which I own, and I think this series is amazing, and everyone should read this series. It's the Aggie Morton series by Marta Jocelyn. I am onto the third book, which is called The Dead Man in the Garden. Um, this is a series about Agatha Christie as she is young and she is named, or nicknamed Aggie. She meets this, uh, immigrant boy who, or refugee boy, who is named Parat, and he is a very particular person, and they solve mysteries together. This is the third book I'll be reading. I really enjoyed the series. I really recommend it. The first one, I think, was called The Body Under the Piano, and I really loved just reading about a potential little Agatha Christie that's very much based on fact. The last prompt is to do a movie night. I am traveling on the 14th, so I don't know when we're gonna do the movie night, but I will be posting it on Instagram when I decide what day I will watch the movie. But you are welcome to join with just your own random movie night and watch the movie that we have picked, or I have picked, which is The Seven Dials Mystery, which is the 1981 version. It's not well rated, but unfortunately, I want to pick one from Superintendent Battle, and he's not in many books or movies. Even Cards on the Table, he is not present in. They changed out his character, which I'm very sad about. So we will be watching The Seven Dials Mystery, which is the 1981 version, um, and it is hopefully going to be a success. I hope you can get your hands on a copy of it, and if not, I'll post an update saying that we will change it to something a bit more accessible, but I hope we can watch this one. So the final thing I guess I forgot to mention this far was our dates. So obviously we're doing this while Christy was missing her infamous 11 days. So we will be reading and acting in this way and trying to solve the mystery from the 3rd to the 14th of December. So you can easily check out what we'll be reading. We'll have our Discord. You can join us there. Please join your team. You can sign on with a unique log name. And then every time you add points for finishing a prompt, the points get added to the pot and the team with the most points have found Christy successfully. Please use our hashtag, which is right here for you. And we can hopefully really uh, enjoy and celebrate Agatha Christie again this year. I loved it last time and I hope you join us again. Um, and hopefully you'll join Team Battle. I can't wait to read bat about Battle and like read the books with him and read other books while trying to find the creator of this amazing cozy mystery genre almost. I can't wait. I hope that you join us. Please let me know down below in the comments what team you're joining. And if you're joining mine, woohoo. <laughs> I am so excited. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will be posting the dates for our movie night on Instagram. So you can follow me there. All of that information is down below in my description box. So you can easily check it out along with everything from this video that you need to know. So I hope to see you while we solve Agatha Christie's mystery of where she went 
while we read her wonderful books. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.